Hello everybody and a warm welcome back to Hobby Laurent for episode 13 with me, Wasteland Gaming. I know it's been a while I know you're thinking the same But I've been feeling like A moment can't go to waste I let go of your name, girl Everybody and welcome back to the channel. It's been a little while since I've been recording, um, mainly because I've not been very well, and neither has my family. Um, we've managed to contract the COVID virus in our family, so uh, my son first got ill with it uh, about two weeks ago, and then my wife then picked it up. So we have been in quarantine and isolating for the last. Well, I think this is day 15 or 16, um, so we're doing pretty well, and uh, yeah, we've got quarantine over Christmas, so it's it's not great, but yeah, we're getting through it, we're getting through it slowly. Um, on top of that, I've not been that well either, um, I've had a reoccurring illness probably for about eight weeks now, um, so I am... Yeah, slowly getting over it, but yeah, it has been a long, long haul. So uh, you might have noticed on my videos over the last few weeks, it's yeah, my voice has been up and down and all over the place. And yeah, I've been a little bit vacant of times as well. So I apologise if the consistency and quality of my videos hasn't been that good. Um, but I thought I'd try recording just now because yeah, I haven't been on Farming Simulator for quite some time. Um, we're back on Hope Billeron, and um, yeah, it, it is first day of June. Um, time has moved on a little bit, and what I thought I'd do, if we look on the the map uh, or on the prices screen, um, and you saw from the intro, I did a harvesting contract, and we got sixteen thousand one hundred forty-two liters left over of barley from that contract, which is fantastic. On top of that, I've got 4,239 litres of sunflowers left over um, from last year's contracts as well. Um, so we're going to put these things into our um, production chains. Obviously, we we built the built the um, olive factory last time round. So we'll go and put these uh, sunflowers into there or olive factory wheel factory last time round so we'll go and put these um, sunflowers into there first then we'll come back and then I'm going to start the flower production again I think 
Um, so yeah, we'll get those things moving, and hopefully, yeah, we'll we'll pick up some more stuff along the way. What I have done is also I've purchased a weeder. Now it came up on the sales, so it was quite a good deal. So I decided to go for it. Now the reason I've took the weeder on is partly to do with um, more information on how to do your fields correctly with, to get the most amount of yield out of them. Um, and yeah, it's yeah I found out that you get a 10% reduction in yield uh, for using herbicide no matter what so um, so I'm going to try and use a weeder as much as possible if I need to use one and um, so I've got one of them and um, you're now watching this uh, video it has now come after the 1.2 update and um, so we have lots of new features on the maps I have not obviously created a new save game on this map um, purely because I was 50 odd hours in and I don't really want to reset everything and start again um, but I have done that with my Elm Creek map in fact let's just swing in here and quickly show you um, so this is the weeder I've bought um, so if we jump into the here uh, da, 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 da. Weeders, weeders, weeders. Where are we? I've lost it. Lost it, lost it, lost it. There it is. It is the Chopstar Rogard 90. So I think I picked that up for 20,000 euros instead. So our money had gone up to about 125 euros. Um, and yeah, I um, decided to purchase that. And yeah, the money went up mainly because of contracting. I did a bunch of contracts again um, and addicted to them. But I'm going to start easing off on them now. Um, I have hopefully got enough money to buy my harvester. Um, but I will need money to rent a olive harvester when the olives are ready. Um, and I will need to get some more equipment as well. Um, because, yeah, obviously I need to get my fields turned around as well. So let's nip up here and we'll put our first load of stuff into here. Put this there. Cut. I've done that tight enough, have I? Oh, it's tight. There we go. So before I do that, I'm going to turn this on. So let's have a look. Activate that one. Oh, it's making a nice noise. So we'll get that in there. And that should start producing olive oil. Uh, olive oil keep saying olives sunflower oil so half of that there we go it's already processing so we've already got one need to go in that's fantastic so just shut this uh, gate there we go open this one and yeah next job I guess is to knit back up and we'll go and get the barley and I think what we'll do is we'll put that through the processor and process that and I think half of that will sell and half of that we will um, put to the bakery for, for the bread. I have also as you saw from the intro done a bit of work on here so what I did was I fertilize, uh, fertilize this then I uh, hired a, a stone picker we stone picked it and now this field is good to go we're just waiting for the half, uh, planting window so we can then plant our granola into that so what I'm going to do I'm going to nip up to nip up to the silo again we'll go and get the 
barley this time and we'll see you down at the mill and we'll go and get that operating here we go then so just uh, turn down into here I've got 16,143 litres of barley in the back here so we'll go and get this uh, this dumped in here and I'm just going to do the same thing as I did before and it might might seem a bit of a cockeyed way of doing it but it kind of makes sense in my mind it means I'm not potentially losing anything so barley flour activate you are missing that's fine Gonna start producing there. Spot on. Right. Just gonna check one thing on here. Just make sure it is on um, storing. Yep. Let me just check the oil as well. Yep. They're all on storing as well. Fantastic. So those are gonna chug away nicely and. I just need to let them do their thing really so what we'll do we'll head back up to the, the farm up to the yard and uh, yeah we'll just show you what's been happening there here we go then just heading up to the yard and yeah a couple of things to show you really I guess so just come and put this up in here first and uh, yeah we'll quickly show you what's what's been happening here I guess so I'll just stop there there we go so yeah our uh, oat crop is doing really really well as you can see in the bottom right we now have our new screen so this is part of the 1.2 update so uh, my yield bonus is 95% on here it's not 100% because I didn't mulch which is worth 2.5% and I did not uh, roll this either so um, that's why it's not 100% I could get in excess of 100% if I had weeds and I had uh, used a weeder on there but um, yeah that's all good our lettuce is slowly just chugging it away slowly just ch oh, that went a bit funny slowly just chugging away uh, it was oh why is it doing this to me slowly just chugging away and uh, we're slowly getting lettuce building up what I've done is I've just bypassed that small trailer I've been putting on here because my next load is going to include bread and flour as well um, so we will be selling those things so I thought I could me as well and the new update the lettuce pallets are now a wee bit smaller as well yeah, they're not double high they're just single high um, the yeah so all the lettuce is doing really well it's, uh, it's doing its thing um, I'm not needing to worry too much about that and then the chickens are doing fantastic they are just clucking away laying their eggs and yeah we've got half a pallet now so that's that's fantastic grass has grown it does say it's ready to harvest uh, but this has got another growth stage in it so I'm going to leave it one more growth stage until it's uh, uh, fully fully grown and then we'll cut that and then these have grown a stage I think um, I could be wrong but yeah they are the grass is all grown between them and um, our trees haven't done anything yet but from what I've read up these take nine months to mature so we should see something happening with these very very soon hopefully and then our olives olives are looking fantastic they are starting to grow we don't need to mulch yet and um, so i'm going to leave off with them until we do need to mulch and then i'll put another load of fertilizer on there as well um so that's pretty much all that's happening on the farm just now what I'll probably do is let those production chains chug away and then I think what we'll do is we'll maybe fast forward a day. Um, 
incidentally I have paid off some of the loan as well um, so we're now down to 160,000 K on the loan um, as you can see there's a lot of red on there just now um, but um, let's have a look yeah there we go so contracts income as you can see I've been earning quite a bit off the contracts um, but also spending a fair bit on wages and um, yeah herbicide and fer fertilizer costs and stuff like that which certainly adds up um, but yeah we will get there I think this year will be the turning point on the farm hopefully and we'll start earning some money but I think yeah we'll skip ahead another day maybe two we'll see where we're at and yeah hopefully we'll get close to harvest time right see you in a bit okay so first of July thing we moved on we are now ready to harvest our oats and yeah other things have changed as well so eggs are almost there the grass has now moved on a stage so we can definitely get that cut at some point and our olives oh dear are ready to be mulched and fertilized again I have also accepted a harvesting contract over on field 20 what I've done is I've took the new Holland down I've picked up some flour I've picked up some um, some um, and there's some olive oil oh, I keep saying olive oil sunflower oil to pick up as well but what we'll need to do I think is I'm going to get on with the mulching on here first or shall I yes let's do the mulching first let's get that done and then I think yeah we'll crack on with harvesting these oats so let's take this down here Ooh, over the rocks why not off road Oof. okay so it's going to be interesting because not done this before so if we start this side and I'm going to get as close to this as possibly can so just like before I'm going to have to go as close to the trees as I can without uh, crashing into them constantly there we go and yeah just keep working our way up the rows until we get to the top so I think it's going to take a little while but we'll get there in the end and uh, hopefully, well this should, in theory, give us a bonus. So, let's just turn that off there. So that's 70, yeah. What's it saying there? 76. Does that actually work then? I don't know, you know. Yeah, it's saying it's, it is giving us a little bit more, I think. Right. Well, I'm not gonna let, not gonna do this on camera. This is gonna take a little while. We'll get this done because I keep missing bits as well. Right, these bits there do our best we get all these bits done and then yeah we'll move over and what I'm going to have to do first is I'm going to have to sell a bunch of stuff uh, sell a bunch of products because what I want to do is um, yeah I'll need to get a harvester so yeah let me finish this off 
and then yeah, we'll move across to the olive factory. We'll go and get um, the rest of those olives. Uh, we'll sell a bunch of stuff, and then we can purchase our harvester. Fantastic. So we're just uh, down at the oil factory, and I have a few crates of um, sunflower oil, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, it's uh, processed pretty quickly, that. So what we'll do, pick this up. Ooh, it's pretty heavy. Uh, and yeah, what we'll do, we'll run up to the dealership. As you can see my money has gone down a, a huge amount <laughs> so I have bought a harvester and we'll go and see that uh, we did get the all the we did get all the great uh, the olives uh, mulched but I don't think it's made much of a difference um, yeah we'll see we'll see um, you are meant to do it but I've maybe done it a little bit out of sequence we'll see um, but my plan is obviously in the next few episodes to get them harvested as well. So we need the money to rent that harvester, um, and that's going to yeah cost us a fair bit. And then yeah, we need to to get our hills uh, turned around as well. So yeah, big differences in the next few episodes. We're certainly going to do a bit more, I think. But um, yeah, if you can maybe see a difference in the volume levels between the first part of this episode and this um, it's because I'm recording this in a second stint I managed to edit the first bit together and it did seem a little bit loud so I have a uh, quiet in the volumes but I think it's good since the last bit um, but um, yeah hopefully it sounds a little bit better um, so I've come for the class dominator 108 SL maxi We've um, it's obviously got released fairly early on by Giants, uh, but yeah, fantastic. We start a harvester, really, really great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send this up the road, and uh, hopefully, in fact, before I send this off, let me just check this here, and I can take the header up, and the harvester can do its own thing. And then, yeah, once we get up there, I've got a trailer ready with all the... Oh. There we go, perfect. So, yeah, I've got a trailer with all the flour and everything ready to go. So, let's get this on to here. Let's test it out. Let's test this... Uh, new AI, this updated AI, see if it actually works. So we need to go up to here. There it goes. We'll follow it up. All right. We'll see you up at the cell point, I think. And uh, yeah, we'll go and get these bits and bobs sold, and that should uh, bump our money back up again. And then we'll get on with this harvest. point and yeah I'm gonna try and sell each of these things separately just to see what we make from each of these different products obviously I've got the flour I've got the bread and I've got the lettuce and I've got the oil right at the front here so should sell the oil first there we go There we go, so 5,825 for that. Um, so 
be bad. Okay, 2,473 for the flower. Good money for the the bread. 1917. And there we go, 1944 for the lettuce. So not bad at all really. That's uh, almost twenty thousand euros all that lot. So I'm going to get down, I'll get, get back up along to the, the farm, we'll get this, uh, oh, the one. we'll get along to the farm, we'll get all this uh, sorted, get this trailer put away and yeah we'll get on with this, start this harvest, um, which I've been trying to do all episode. Okay, I've brought the harvester up and um, just the end of the field, I think what I'll do with this tractor and trailer is I think I'll leave it here actually may as well um, yeah I've put the New Holland away and the flatbed trailers up over here and yeah it's time to get this harvest underway I think what we'll do for this episode is I'll maybe go around the headlands we'll just see how the yield's doing and then next episode we will finish this off because yeah there's a lot to do still um, and I've certainly been chatting and laughing quite a bit this episode so let's just uh, try and get this one here go around and we'll head up head up the field this way first. Uh, it's quite a good headland at this end so it's not too bad but um that unfolded. Just adjust this reel as well, get it the right height. A little bit, there a little bit. I'll be about right. Perfect. So turn her on. What I do want to make sure is okay. I'm going to put all this uh, all these oats into storage just now because it's the wrong time of year. We might be able to. Uh, put some of it into our grain mill and then that's going to give us the chance to potentially get some more flour on the go um, because yeah going from that, that little selling spree just there we uh, yeah, the bread is making really good money um, although it does take a long time to produce but uh, yeah we'll see we'll see I'll give us some thought the oil is encouraging though, that really didn't take that long to produce that oil and it, yeah, it's worth quite a bit of money so yeah, yeah it's pretty good, good thing to keep going with. We've still got the summer flowers to harvest so should, uh, should do okay out of that. But yeah, once uh, once our harvests are done, there's uh, thoughts on what to do next. I've been half thinking of buying this field next to us here. Um, obviously I'd need to take out another chunk of money and loan to do that. But that would give us another fairly sizeable field. Um, and then obviously down near the oil mill we've got uh, smaller fields down there that we could buy as well. So. Yeah, there is a there's a few choices to be made. I think yeah, this year is going okay so far. 
next job really is once this field's uh, harvested, I need to collect the straw. And while I'm doing that and I've got the baler, I may as well cut the grass on our little field of grass. Um, so, and then I'll probably turn that grass into silage. We can sell that silage. And then, yeah, that should give us a little bit more money to buy some more equipment. And hopefully keep expanding this farm. This way, just come back out of cab again. There we go. So that's one headland, and that's given us oh, it'll be about 43.4% by the time we get to that end, I think. But, uh, yeah, pretty happy with that. Uh, yeah, this field's going to yield okay. So, let me know your thoughts. What, what should I do next on this farm? Um, should I go all in with the oil? Or should I maybe diversify, try something else as well because year 3 I could branch out there's always the chance or possibility I could go all in and try and try and do that cake recipe <laughs> but I would, that would mean I'd need to get a uh, sugar beet on the go I'd need to get milk on the go which would mean getting cows um, so that's quite a big step up. I could get another chicken chicken coop. No, I reckon I could fit another chicken coop in here somewhere. So yeah, lots and lots of possibilities still to go with the brilliant farming simulator 22 with all its options now. there. So I will continue this next episode I think. Um, we've kind of run out of time but we've made a good start on this field and yeah we've got a good, good straw swath happening here which is good. It's a good sign of the yield and uh, yeah we'll finish it off next episode. Um, what I will have to do as well, there's another field to be harvested over on field 20. We'll go and get that done as well. And uh, yeah, we will continue on and see you next time. But if you have enjoyed this episode, don't forget to hit that like button. If you want to subscribe to the channel, please do. And if you want to share a comment, you're more than welcome to. But from Obeleron for now, that is it. Um, and... I want to wish you a Merry Christmas because this will be the last episode before Christmas Day. We'll hopefully see you sometime between Christmas and New Year. But if not, it will be in the New Year. Like I said, this has been a bit of a test on my voice and my throat. See how I get on. Um, and uh, yeah, enjoy all the festivities. Take care.